Alrighty guys, welcome back. We're going into hour three here of torn pages. Keep doing that shit. Yep, yep, Alrighty, yep. here we go. We have we're basically we're kind of just trying to figure out where we're going and what we're doing. Um now that Connor's kind of stepped in and done his thing, so take it away. Alright. So after Going through, foraging in the bodies. Uh, Zed has found a couple of things. Uh, you find four flasks, all filled with uh, strange liquid. Uh, three of the flasks are all identical. They're kind of like a bluish liquid. And inside of them, it looks like uh, silver flakes almost, like almost like little uh, sh scraps of silver. But they seem to like move on their own. And then the fourth flask is kind of like a red color, but then the inside is like orange. And the, but the orange and red all seems to like flow equally, like they all seem to move together. So if you move it one way, it always remains the same shape. And then the last thing you find is 25 gold pieces. So Zed found that. Cumulative. Cumulative 25 gold pieces from all of the guys. Cool. Right. And 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 Maggot and I don't necessarily know that he found 25 gold pieces. Yeah, he you don't you don't really know he has those. Cool. Rich, bitch. Okay, uh so you guys you got your loot. You got your information. You guys want to start heading north? Yeah. Like, or yeah. what do you want to do? That's what I said. Oh yeah. So I turn to I turn to Connor and just say, uh, you know, <clears throat> thank you, thank you again, my. Oh, well, you you pointed out that I'm not your friend, but I thank you nonetheless, and uh, we've got the information we need. We must we must now begin our journey. You. You just kind of. These, these prisoners are yours. Kind of, he kind of laughs a little bit. <laughs> Not friends, why? If you ever find yourself in need, feel free to send a messenger my way. I will do what I can for you. Pat you on the shoulder. Have a good day. Kind of bow to him, and and then I we just I start to head out of town the way we came. Yeah. Or actually, and no, north. We go north. Zed untied all the prisoners and got his rope back. <laughs> As you. As you guys are leaving, nice. Nice. yep. As you guys are leaving, uh, I, the last thing you kind of see is Connor just shaking his head. I suppose the number was three. Cool. Don't know what that don't know what that means, but that's what he says. Okay. That takes us off of this map. We would go back to the normal big old map. For now, because there's not really much going on. Right. Just, just for now, party members. Can we go back to the inn? I'm pretty wounded. Hmm. If you feel if you feel you need to rest, it's. I feel like it's, shit. It's still um, it's still during the day, and if we take a rest, we could leave in the evening I when say, it's dark. I say, what time? What time is it now? Because after this fight and all this conversation, like it was midday, uh, it's starting to get, you know, a little later, maybe. It's probably close to like ten, eleven in the morning. Okay. Yeah. So if we if we wanted to take an eight hour rest for for Z to to heal, uh, we could leave when, at dark. What time? What time did you say? Sorry. About ten in the morning. Oh. I mean, we could take a you short break and he could use his hit dice. Yes, we could also do that. He took... How much damage did he take? Six. Six, so you have like three left. Your hit dice is an, an, a 1d8. Ten. 1d10, so you could oh, potentially get yeah, it all back from just a short rest and we could go. And a short rest would also give me my spell slots back, which I do need. True. So, uh, why don't we just... I say... I say, we've waste we've lingered here long enough. If we if we wait here too long, we'll just be 
you know, sitting targets for the next group of bandits that wants our heads on spikes. Um, okay. So I say let's move let's move north a little bit so the enemy doesn't know where we're at and we'll we'll rest, we'll rest there. there. All right. So you guys, uh, you go north. Uh, you get a good mile, two miles into the forest until you can't really see the town anymore. It's just kind of like it, it almost looks like a tunnel of trees. And all you see is an opening with light from where you came. After that, there's no real signs of civilization around you. Uh, you go fairly off the path so that no one really notices you until you're in a nice little outcropping, a couple of rocks comfortable enough to sit on, and you sit down and you start taking a rest. Is there anything you guys want to do while you're resting? Um, no, I wasn't hit. wasn't... Uh, yeah, the resting was just nothing. for like... More for... Here. Role play. Well, okay. so or or if any kind of For conversations sure. you wanted to have or any role play or anything. Um, basically, I guess I, I'll ask us. I'll ask. Um, I'll look over to Carrick and I said, um, it looks like this quest you have us on is gonna be a little bit harder than you th may have thought. Do you know who this Ariel woman is? Uh, yes, I will. I will agree with you. There seems to be more moving parts and, and resistance than we first anticipated. Uh, no, I have not. I have not heard of this lady Ariel before. Um, I think our first course of action will be to go to the town north and go to the church and seek out the lady that Martin spoke of, and then see if we can learn more of, of Lady Ariel. Sounds like a good plan. It seems from the information that we've gotten is that. Ariel is second in command. Uh, it doesn't seem like uh, with just three of us we could easily uh, get to her. So let's get more information from your friend up north and figure it out from there. I agree. Uh, I'm trying to think. Does anyone even remember his friend up north's name? I just want to make sure. I don't. I couldn't remember if you told us or not. I know you said there was a lady in a church. Yep, and I told you her name. I don't remember her name now. Eileen. Eileen, okay. Probably shouldn't Eileen. remember that. Eileen, yeah. Which way? Left. Good things. Hey. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, so, so, yeah. Yeah, we take that rest. Uh, uh, does Zeev and Carrick, did you get hit? I used my shield, remember? That's right. So, Z, if you want to roll your 1d10 for your health. I mean, you don't have to. You can save the hit dice, but I would recommend it. Did we get any experience from that fight? Oh, yeah, we we'll talk about that later. Don't, I okay. think we have to take like, a so long rest to get We're there. traveling in forest. Do I get any uh, benefits at all? Uh, oh, yeah, because it's hmm? favorite, favorite terrain. I don't know if that matters for you for resting. Yeah, not for not. hit dice. Oh. Two, so it goes up to five. <laughs> Yay! Hey man, every little bit counts. Um, I I do, you know, I'm kind of sitting over in the side, like looking at these flasks that he found. And you don't trying... know he has those. He didn't oh. share that with you. Oh okay, never mind then. I don't mean to like be an asshole about it, but that's no, you're clean. No, that's fine. I, I was that's fine. I was uh I was planning on doing it, but we uh, at there, but we kind of left. That's fine. Quickly. During the... Uh... You should investigate those to see if they might be a healing potion. That's, you know, what I was going to... I was going to actually go up to uh, Carrick and uh, ask him, do you have any idea what these would be? What these would well, be useful for? Well, the bottle, the bottles look familiar, but the... The substance, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I mean, technically, every bottle looks familiar because, generally speaking, they usually use the same, like... They come from the same factory. They use, like, <laughs> the same kind of crafting... The factory downtown. It's just, it's just there's a gen generic style of crafting the flasks. Uh. Right. Uh, it's just the, the only difference is usually the makers leave some sort of marking on it to tell you who they are, but no one really cares about flask so makers. Yeah, so if I was, like, kind of peering into the flask and trying to look at what the liquid and try to figure out what it might be just from looking at it, would I be 
an investigation throw or a medicine throw or it would be an investigation check. Okay. I'm gonna do that. Just yeah. just saying. No, you know what I'm not gonna say that's metagaming. Just make an investigation check. Okay. You can do Arcana. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Arcana. Mm. See, I was gonna say that, but that's metagaming if the DM tells you to do that. Uh, what do you mean you told you told never mind. Okay, go ahead. I told earlier, you what you Earlier you made me make one throw when I could. I don't know. I, it's fine. It's fine. I should have thought of Arcana since I'm proficient in it, but we're good. So, so I rolled a seven. I don't know what the fuck this liquid is, Zed. So wait, which one did you check? What do you mean? The blue there or was, just another one? The, 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 one the, the ones red. that are all the same. The, the uh, ones yeah, you don't know what those are. You could have had someone help you. Yeah, we didn't, though. If you had basic investigation. <laughs> I just wanted to point that out after the fact because it's funny. Yeah, we can I have them uh, check the other one? We'll have to make one. Check the yeah, we can do whatever we want in this rest period. This is the point of the game. Yeah, I mean, check your... I would say use an Arcana to check the, the other liquid, see if that one's, like, magical or has any, like, kind of those properties. Down for that. Okay, so I do an Arcana check. Oh, Ooh, hello. yeah. So the blue liquid evades you. The 21, by the way, guys. You, you, just, you just can't figure it out. But this red liquid, something something about it just pulls you. And you immediately know it's time to to look to the, to the power of the world, the power that comes from your dr draconic blood. And you investigate it. Your eyes start to glow. Match, matching your dragon ancestry as a gold color t kind of glazes over and energy just kind of spills out. And you discover that this is a, a potion of fire breathing. Cool. Nice. So, and after I, drinking I... this potion, you can use a bonus action to exhale fire at a target within 30 feet of you. The target must make a DC 13 dexterity saving throw taking 4d6 fire damage on a wow. failed save wow. or half as much damage on a successful one wow. the effect Two ends four. after you ex the effect ends after you exhale the the three fire or when one hour passes nice okay so so i'm looking kind of deeply into the my you know my eyes are glowing i'm deeply looking into it and i say my, my eyes kind of you know open wide and i, I look to z and this this is a powerful liquid indeed. This potion right here will give you the, the breath of the dragon. You will you will be able to breathe fire on your enemies. Use it wisely, my friend. And I hand it to Z. Back to Z since I already have spells and such. Dude, with that potion, you're basically a dragon. You can fly yeah. and breathe fire. It's awesome. Yeah. What's the range on that? 30 feet. 30 feet, man. Can I, like... Napalm carpet bomb type of thing. As you fly, <laughs> I mean technically, yeah. It w but it's fire breath, so it's magic, so it wouldn't have any added damage from dive dive attack. Right. Just... <sighs> but awesome. you do have another form of attack. I'm gonna, possibly. So if we're at like if we kind of like sat down and made camp, I kind of have like my battle axe, and I'm kind of just like sharpening the, the blade. Yeah, I found a tree to uh, tie my hammock up and then since we're doing a short rest i kind of wander over to sit on this rock and just do my little elvish meditation right, so, we're so, so you guys take about four hours give or take yes cool. okay so uh after after your four hours you all kind of Strap everything back on. Get your get your gear set. Uh, I would assume you guys throw the flasks back into Zed's bag. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's his stuff. It's his stuff. Yeah. So you guys got the the bags and you start journeying north. Yes. Question mark. Yeah. Same. Yes, we're headed. Yeah, we're headed to the next town north. We're headed to the church. How long have we been in this? Uh, it's a two. Four in hours. this train, you've been here about four hours. And then it's a two-day trek to the new town. Yep. Yeah, the four hours we've been here, we haven't 
gone anywhere. Been moving. Like, we're just been yeah. Chilling. You guys are you guys are like it's like a mile or two from the two town. two miles into the forest, a little bit off, and you sat there for four hours. Now you're back on the trail, journeying. Uh, I want. I'm gonna give this to Zed. I want Zed to make a perception check. At advantage because of his favorite terrain. Damn. So, this guy can see things for days. Hold on. Where's the roll? Where'd it go? <sighs> so at advantage means I get to roll twice and pick the best one, right? Yeah. Yes. That's pretty good. 24. 24 and a 21. Either one was really good. Yeah. Okay, so that plus eight though. Yeah. So you start to hear uh, a rustling sound, something moving to your right on the trail, and as you turn, you also hear something on the left side of the trail, something moving through the trees above you you kind of stop and can just look around sounds suddenly coming from everywhere okay. your party not necessarily aware to it seeing as they aren't as like attuned with the forest as you are Do you say anything to us or anything? i signal for them to stop as i look around Okay. Uh, so we kind of like. You look around. Like, I, I want to say like I, I look around, not look. I'm like, kind of. Are you are you standing with us? Are you with us? Like right next to us or whatever. Yeah, you guys are like. Yeah, all presumably right. we're traveling like, together. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah, but the previous time he was kind of flying in the air or whatever. So. Mm -hmm. Like I, I would have been flying, but I didn't say it. So. Okay, so you're on the ground. So I said I kind of like, I whisper to him like, "What do you see?" And kind of like getting my like my shield out and shit like that. Yeah. So, you don't necessarily see anything, but you're definitely aware of its presence. Yeah. At this point, all you know is that there's a rustling, and while it originated on your right, it has since become multiple entities causing a noise around you. Okay. So, I'm going to say, um, I'm going to grab Carrick by, like, his, uh, his robe. I'm gonna pull him close and say, "You must stand next to me, or stay next to me." Okay, I will. I will. Is there a way? Any way I can go around? Like and, Jack. and like, is there any way for me to see these people? Like identify? Yeah. Uh, you can make. I would. I would fly up into the air first because you're still pretty low health. You have five. Yeah. I would I say we're not in make, combat, so I can't do that, right? Make All right, I'll an go investigation here. check. And this time, just a flat and get investigation check, no advantage, because technically, if you didn't have your favorite terrain, this would be a disadvantage, because there's so many of them, it's hard to notice all of them at once. Okay. So, d20, right? d20. Plus investigation, whatever your investigation 16. Is. So, your intellect. Yep. That's so, cool. You don't necessarily make out who or what they are, but you do see ahead of you where it seems to, the, the path seems to be stopped by, there's like a river flowing through the forest with a large tree kind of fallen over, creating a natural bridge. You see the body, the, the, the bodies of the, the creatures that had been rustling around suddenly kind of dash into the water you see the shadows move across dash up on the shore and into the foliage you didn't catch exactly what they were but you saw they they seem to be humanoid with whitish skin okay um <clears throat> i guess so, i asked you know i kind yeah. of asked do we, do we need do we want to stick around and find out what this is, or do we want to run for it? They're in our path, right? This is the way we're going. He said they're so to the right. Going. He first said to the right, and then he said it was around you. They were, they were like all around you, and then as 
Zed was like looking at them and like actively looking for them, they kind of dashed ahead on the path. Okay. All right. Um, so I just I Zed, you know, ch chirps up and says, you know, uh, we have some creatures in front of us. I, I could not tell what they were, but they do not look friendly. Okay, I'm gonna say, um, I'll look at him and be like, "Do you think that they have an advantage on us? Like, if we stop here, they could still attack. Why don't we just trek on and?" We're we're, we're sitting ducks here. We can't yeah. stay here. I agree. I think we should just head forward and you know, take it on as it comes. I nod. Cool. All right, so as you guys walk, you reach the uh, you reach the shore of the river. The you notice the ground underneath you is is a little bit softer from the water constantly flowing through, kind of muddy. The closer you get to the water, but still solid enough footing. You kind of make a quick scan. You don't really notice anything. And as you step towards this tree bridge, you suddenly hear a loud cracking sound of branches just being obliterated. That's where we're going to end this week's session. Hey. Cool. Damn. Well, Dude, I was literally like, wait, like, what is it going to be? What is it going to be? Yeah. yeah. That is... The T-Rex, um, bro. Yeah, just... <laughs> it's a T-Rex. It's a T-Rex. want to hunt. It's so crazy. Um, I like how I, might have to edit, edit. I like how uh, Pryler's chirped up uh, upon their kind of when you I like noticed. it. Everyone, everyone just kind of let that one go. So, oh, like, I got oh! more. Man. I have more. Um, yeah. That cliffhanger though. Yeah. Okay. So, hey, God, somebody clip me right there. I just got it. <laughs> no, no more murder boners tonight. No. So that was fun. I mean, that was a good uh, like. You know, good th about three hours here of D and D. Um, just so everybody knows, Torn Pages is going to be every Saturday at this time. Um, obviously, yeah. Go ahead. Next week I'll be at PAX, so it might not. Yeah, yeah. So if things like that happen, we'll try and move it around. We'll let you guys know on Twitter and then through my stream. And but I'm generally, sure, generally Saturdays. speaking, yeah, Saturday is like <coughs> going to be the day at six p.m. Uh, Pacific time, nine p.m. Eastern. Um, after this, we are actually going to record an hour of, or, you know, between 30 minutes and an hour of a post, uh, post game discussion here. Um, you can go over to the Patreon, um, talking pages, yeah, talking, talking pages. Yeah. <laughs> um, we'll go over and talk about the, the game and you can go over to the Patreon by hitting exclamation point Patreon. Um, and it's $1 and you'll be able to get all of our videos of character creation and the post, uh, post discussion stuff. Yo. Yo. Instead of talking pages, uh, post discussion is called story time. Story time. Nice. One of these, something. We'll, f we'll figure out a fun name for it. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty great. But torn dis torn discussion. discussion. So How about that? Yeah. Torn, yeah. Some, something, right? Something something clever, except where all of us are not clever. Are not clever. Moment. So mm -hmm. we'll, we'll need we to roll uh, for that. source for that. Story, um, story time. Killing my bird brain, dude. Right. Yeah. No. Can't think. Killing Niff's murder boner. <laughs> um, much love to you guys. Everybody, thank you guys so much uh, for hanging out with us. Uh, Pryler, go ahead and uh, plug some stuff. Tell, tell everybody where they can find you. Um, yeah. Um, you can find me at uh, twitch.tv slash Prylor. I also have a uh, Twitter handle, Pryler underscore TV. You can uh, follow me there. Uh, I stream any games and all the games. So, And uh, thanks, Bacon, for having me. Uh, yeah. Thanks, Castle, for... Uh, DMing and uh, thanks Niff for being a wizard and kicking ass and you know yeah you're the doing sorcerer that. damn it sorcerer, oh, sorcerer. Oh, God. Sorcerer, God. like I, I always call you a wizard well and I can't tell if you're doing it on purpose right. or not I'm not like, part I'm of me not. part of me thinks I probably like, will start to but like I, right now <laughs> uh, just a little wizard. jab at you for yeah, yeah. Wizard. Um, yeah. Stupid wizard that actually might be interesting since you always call him wizard in game um, uh, Niff go ahead right here yeah yeah Birdman or whatever you call him what do you call him. Uh, the bird. bird. Yeah, the bird. Okay. Um, Nif, go ahead and tell us uh, where we can find you if you're on Twitch, Twitter, where else? Um, yeah, you know, all those places. Uh, it's Kniff with an underscore in there. K-A underscore Nif. Um, I haven't been streaming lately, but hopefully the life... Uh, yeah, hopefully life gets me back into that. Yeah. This will be a definite, like... 
Resurgence. Springboard. Yeah. Um, yeah. And you're going to PAX, um, so. I'm going to PAX, fun, so, so I'm going to be, yeah, I'm going to be meeting streamers. It'll, it'll definitely give me that bug. Um, but, yeah, yeah sure. I'm on Twitter for sure. Follow me on Twitter. I'm always open to tweet at you or behind your back. So. Yeah. Or behind right. your back. Yeah. The bird is the word. <clears throat> Castle, go ahead. Tell us where we can find you. Bird. I mean, um, yeah, you can usually find me in Bacon's chat. That's for sure. Uh, I'm on Twitter at Castle WR21. Uh, You're a mod in Bacon's chat, right? Nope. Oh, no. That's my bad. <laughs> Why are you going to bring that up, Why man? You... Oh, you hit so hard, Just bro. Just pour that <laughs> salt. <laughs> Oh, now I have to kill you. Now Look what you did. I legitimately, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no but ahead. other than that, uh, I mean, the only problems is I am in the Navy, so eventually there are going to be days where I have no choice. Work is going to take me away. But hopefully we don't have to deal with any of that too soon, and hopefully it won't be too long. So, yay. Yep. Thanks, That'd guys. Awesome. Yeah, thank you guys so much. Obviously, you guys know where to find me. And uh, I will be live tomorrow. Usually I don't stream on Sundays, but we'll stream earlier in the day. And we'll talk D&D. We'll talk Paladins. We'll talk whatever you guys want to do. Uh, much love to you guys. Everybody, thank you guys so much for watching us. It's been a pleasure um, being able to host this. And I look forward to doing more. Um, yeah, see you guys. Talk to you guys uh, soon. Bye. Follow Dyson Derps on Twitter. Yeah. Turn the page! And exclamation point Patreon. Hit us up. It's only a dollar to get all the exclusive content there. That, so. was, that was brilliant, Castle. I like that. Bye.